The first step in preparing the vest is to make the welt pockets. We have already cut them out and interface them. So what we want to do is fold the welt in half lengthwise, right sides together, so that's basically inside out, and you want to fold and have the short ends together. So, like that. And then what you want to do is stitch the ends taking a 3 8 inch seam allowance. And you want to backstitch at the beginning and the end. And frequently details like this are 3 8 of an inch. So we'll backstitch. And you want to make sure you backstitch so that the ends don't come apart as you're working on it. Now remember that there's a little angle here, so we're going to go to the angle and then come down and then backstitch at the end. And we can clip our threads. And we'll do the other side exactly the same way, 3 eighths of an inch. Back stitch, come forward, take your pins out, stop with your needle in, pivot, back stitch, and clip your threads. Okay, so both sides have been stitched, and you can see the little angle there. And it says to cut your corners diagonally. Now, these are the corners they mean. If you don't cut them, and you can put your finger right there and clip it, and you can see that. Or you could put a pin there. Throw those little scraps out too. So we've clipped both corners and then what you want to do is turn it right side out like so and a handy tool for that is using a point turner and that helps you to push out those corners just be careful that you don't poke out the corner while you're doing that So then you have nice square corners. And the next step is to press. And I've already completed one and pressed it. And the next thing it tells you to do is baste your raw edges together, which is this long side. And basting is your large machine stitch. And when you do that, you don't backstitch beginning and end. This is a temporary stitch. And they don't really tell you where to baste it, but we found out in doing it uh, before that it's a good idea to baste at 3 eighths of an inch. So I'm going to do a basting stitch, and this will be a guide for when we are putting the, ve the vest pocket on. And then clip those corner threads. And I have basted across right there. And that will be a guide for us as we're putting this on. So that's the first step to get that ready. We will attach it in the next video. And the next step that we're going to do right now is to make, go on to step two and make the ties, which are right down here. Okay? So, the ties do not need to be interfaced. And when you make the ties, you fold the tie in half and you have a notch there. And we're going to pin that together quickly. And when you have a long piece of fabric, sometimes it's good to do each end so that you don't push it apart. Match your edges, like I'm doing right here. Put your pins in. 
and one more pin. Okay, so this is pinned and ready to stitch. And it tells you to stitch the raw edges together using a 3 8 inch seam and leaving the end near the notch open. You can do this in two steps or one. I am going to try to do it in two and turn a corner. So I'm going to start here. Once again, you want to back stitch. I'm going to come to the corner and it's 3 eighths of an inch. Leave the needle in, press your foot down. I'm using my 3 eighths inch guide. And I leave the bottom edge open, but I want to remember to backstitch before I stop and clip my threads. Now it will tell you to also cut these corners, both of them, okay? Because we're going to turn this inside out and we don't want that bulkiness. So we're going to turn, clip both of them. Now, if you've ever tried to turn a tube, whether you're making spaghetti straps or turning a belt, you know how difficult it can be. Sometimes people use a pencil or a safety pin. One of the handiest little tools that I have come across is called Fabric tube, Quick Turn, Fabric Tube Turner. And I'm going to use the middle size. It comes in a narrow, wide, and a middle size. And to use this, Tool. I'm going to put the blue tube down into my tie, like so. Okay, it's, it's all the way down to here. And then I'm going to take the dowel that comes with it, and there's a pointed tip, and I'm going to put that in there. It's a little hard to do upside down. And I'm going to start pushing it through. And you can see how quickly this turns it. And if you've ever tried to do this, you know that this is really a lot quicker. So before you take the dowel out, you want to poke out those corners, being careful once again. And your tube has been turned. Then what you want to do with your ties, and there are two of them, one for each side, is press it. And you want to turn the seam allowance, you can see the seam there, to the underside because when you put it on your vest you don't want it to show. And when you're pressing, sometimes it's a nice idea to have a damp press cloth and just dampen your fingers so that as you're pressing you can do what we call roll your seam with your fingers and then, then you can press it down. Next we will be attaching the vest pocket and the ties.